these teams in the legend stage. Vitality G2, two of the hopefuls to win the trophy at the end of the day, at the end of the Paris Major. Yeah, either story would be incredible to think about. There's no question about it. And Nico starting off crouching out here. P215 hand is looking for one opening. And getting none of them at the moment. Pixel gap being held by Apex. Gonna call it in. And actually, even though they're kind of right around him, no one's really gone to look for him yet. Aggressive play comes out. And Apex will start it off very well done. Finding JKS and making it a four on five. Yeah, that's a really nice early pick to have, especially because you know what's coming. Dupree just kind of tucked behind a box in the upper bomb site. He's going to peek off Sphinx's contact who's playing over at the vents. That's if the G2 hit ends up at this A bomb site. Nico looking for any mistake. There's a crossfire here. Zaiwu can pounce at any moment with these duelies. There's the footstep, there's the early tag. The trap is not quite sprung. Hunter's got one as well, that's Apex to go down. Well, they're gonna come for him right there. He's the only one there. This is gonna be a little bit of an issue. Magus though, he just clicks them away. Oh, oh, leading them left and right. A third kill as well. And that's all on Nico. He gets yeah. blown up. Magus, what a beautiful way to get started. Oh, that's a way to rip the pistol on out of their hands. G2 had everything they wanted. A split from ramp room from secret to the lower bomb site. They got all the initial kills. It's a four on one in this situation. And Magus delivers three stunning shots. Three clicks, three bullets, Jason, and three headshots. And I love it when Magus has those rounds because even he looks sometimes amazed at himself. Even he's still <laughs> surprised that he busted out. What a save of the day, and Vitality's on their feet early. One to nothing. Uh, Apex on his feet after that one. He was not expecting, and nobody was. But they did buy into the round here on the T side. G2. Two Deagles, two Tech Nines, and a P250. Quite an explosive play that's going to be coming out here. You could tell the way that they're set up. But on the other side, Dupree, ready to handle it. MP9's already slowed down, and that should be plenty enough. Just getting that early slowdown is the is the name of the game to try and stop that kind of an execute from coming out. So pretty well done. Double kill on him. And now they're going to be a little bit more relaxed in this round, G2. Yeah, you can breathe a little bit. Uh, Vitality can breathe a little bit easier because, yeah, G2 can't really invest a whole lot into this. 2,500 on Hunter is the most cash they've got, so it should be all Glocks. And Vitality with an easy chance at 3 nothing. Who did you pick for this one? I picked G2. You picked G2? Yeah. Because again, it's like that, is that, like, this is a very close game. And it G2 is. just coming off the challenger stage, I, I, I like the feeling of being a little bit more warmed up. Yeah. Kind of highlighted that earlier as well. I but don't think I, it's a bad idea. And you know, I, I still think Vitality, like as much as like the Rio win is impressive and they've, they've been on a rise, I still feel like there's a little bit more they can prove that they can do it two events in a row, that they can actually, you know, I, I, I've been disappointed so many times. Yeah. My it's heart's gone. not fully healed. I can respect, I, I, I just think I know what you mean. Well, I think there's fantastic signs. I think Maniac highlighted a lot of them. Obviously, Sphinx looking a little bit more comfortable. The step up in performance from Dupree and Apex at Rio than we've seen in the past helps a lot. And obviously, the performance of Zaiwu. You know, Magisk yeah. is going to be consistent. Yeah, having the best player in the world is pretty good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, that, an ace up the sleeve. that's a nice little advantage that you get. Well, let's see if they could do some damage in this round at the very least. Already a nade that's dunked. That's how we're getting to warm up his aim a little bit at range here on top of everything else. Should be a very smooth round that's unfolding in the front of our very eyes. I picked G2 as well because okay. I just think it's Nico's turn to win the major. <laughs> sure, because it, it's always that neat. <laughs> that's my logic. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's we've been feeling that way for a while. But, I, I think um, it's really hard with the career that he's had to not deep down in your heart want. Nico to win a major. Yeah. To I, not want Nico to win this major, this final major. That's how I feel, right? Um, obviously, Saibu would be another in incredible player to win it, but, you know, Saibu's had a lot of his career during the whole co Corona madness. Yeah, had not a few quite the chances same overall. tenure. Yeah, not the same kind of depth of history. Not to say that it wouldn't be very exciting. Obviously, it would be exciting to watch him lift the trophy in a, on home soil, but um, yeah, for Nico, you know, something would feel wrong if it didn't happen. So that's been my reasoning. This one and the last major too hasn't happened yet. But yeah, if, if, if the closest you've got to a major trophy is Boston, yeah, that's not where you want to leave it. It's definitely not, is it? Well, we'll see. So far, Vitality are off to a really beautiful start here. Round number four, though. AKs are coming back out. 
And another very quick start to the round here for G2. They've taken a bit of nade damage. Nobody defending ramp for Vitality. That's so rare. What is going on? Double push down below to get up to the secret stairs. Sideways out here as well. That's a very different defense from what we're used to seeing. The Molotov's going to slow them down a little bit from that double push, but I mean, you still got to think this is this is something. There's two fighting outside and two in secret. Yeah. You'll, you'll never read this. You will never, ever read this, especially the follow-up player. Man, Vitality shift over just to crunch on this outside Ooh. hit and make sure G2 have no space to work with. They've come with a few tricks up their sleeve, and it's looking good. JKS left in a 1v4. Can't even get the first. 4 to nothing for Vitality. That is sort of the... That is sort of the mid-crunch equivalent of what... Shores up your money early on in the nuke CT side, which is all important to keep having the utilities to stop fast plays. They blow up the door. They want to go quick with the Tech Nines. Up on the hut with the AK. Got to be a little bit careful here, but they're doing fine. In fact, better than fine. The bomb even dropping up on top of the hut. That's hilarious. <laughs> but um, either way, they were not going to win the round. It's a flawless victory for Vitality. Nobody even takes a point of damage. Nothing from a nade, nothing from utility, nothing from dropping off the rafters. They, that's clean. Yeah, five straight with very, very convincing rounds coming out here for the Vitality side. Of course, as most people, I guess, um, already kind of know the storyline, but, you know, there could be a lot of new players watching. Dupree, the only player to have made all 19 majors. So, yeah. obviously, quite impressive. We talked a lot about it when they qualified through the RMR. Um, that was obviously completely unique from his point of view. So, the idea that they could make it all the way through here would be just be even more wild. Um, would put him on top of the board for most majors one as well. JKS will be taken down at the start of the round by Saibu. It's a good defense once again. Yeah, that might be a little bit of a missed timing. I thought maybe he was trying to time it to join up with this presence down secret, but he's a little bit early. Now, however, the Vitality defense is going to have to scramble. Zaiwu comes right back down to recommit himself to this lower bomb site. Thought that might be the only one, and they're already at the double door. He's going to blow it open, but he's got to be cautious. Teammate paired up with him downstairs. That's Magisk. Good pounce from him. Zaiwu's out in the open. What a conversion! Destroys Modesty and transfers over to Nico. And this defense is looking so strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get a sense of it there. Quad kill for Saiwu, but those two kills, the back to back ones where he spins around towards Decon, that's everything you wanted here. Good pick off on the first one, but 6 and 0 in their favor. No bomb plant and no money for G2. And I love the attitude in this kind of a play from Zaiwu to keep pressing forward. You've obviously know you've got the backup of Magus there in the ramp room with you, but one of the few criticisms you could have of Zaiwu through much of his career while he's been either the best player or the second best player, depending on who you ask, is sometimes a lack of a willingness to take over games and exert his influence to the degree that Vitality need him to. And that kind of a step forward to just say, I'm going to fight everything. Everything. I'm going to challenge this. I'm in a position where I can stand tall and just see what I get. I really like seeing that early on in the legend stage. Round number seven and some damage here would be nice, right? There's, there's already a, a booming economy happening on the Vitality side. Almost 16,000 on Saibu even after the buy in this round. So they need to do a lot more damage here, G2. Uh -oh. Otherwise, they're going to get wiped out. Dupree worried about the grenades, but he's quick to try and throw down that smoke and buy a little bit of time. Good flashes coming through the ceiling windows will at least open up a kill, but that might be all it is right now. Monacy going to be going down and leaves Nico to try and plant the bomb. At the very least, he's going to be able to do that. So it's a moderate amount of success here, but winning the one versus three, quite a different matter. He's going to try and relocate. Does realize where one of them is. But yeah, he's already been slowed down and Cyber will absolutely just step up and take the swing at him. 7-0 in their favor, but a bomb plan and some money on G2. That was always going to be a tough round to win, but a little hiccup on the execute. I, 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 I forget who it was through a to underhanded a smoke instead of the Molotov that he wanted to throw early yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. That'll happen. That will happen. What do you do if you're with it quite a big risk if Cyber's going to be playing in that position? And he will be in the garage right away. Just steps out into the open. Nico going to be hopping down. Look at how quick he is. Opens it up and takes down Sphinx. That's on top of the hut. But he will find the kill, Saibu. So at least it's a two-for-one trade. The smoke making it very hard to see anything on the other side. And he will fall all the way back. Yeah, but that's alleviated so much pressure. Look how much space there is now for G2 to lurk down secret behind that kind of a play from Nico. 
Only one player has dropped down in towards Vents. It's Apex. Zaiwu's in the upper bomb site. Dupree's in Hut. Apex is the only defender here and the only one close by to be able to do anything. JKS for G2 is just watching for a ramp room push or flank in towards Lobby. This all falls under the Vitality Captain. Three on one in the lower bomb site. How do you do this? They're coming in from every angle. He realizes as well. Backup is going to be called for, but it's going to be a while here. Good spray from Apex, but they're coming for him really quick. A good double. That's unbelievable. Dupree, maybe a little bit too quick now. It's on side with one versus two, and he knew he had that fight isolated. That's actually really good thinking, right? If he can win the fight against Hunter, he knows where JK is because he just got the kill on Dupree. So it might have looked a little bit silly to run right into that fight, but it makes sense from a mathematical point of view. Seven to one as G2 pick up their first round. Actually, it's a little bit scary that Apex is able to get a second one here on Demonacy after yeah. dropping Hooksy. That was what really put the fear in me. Good win for G2. Good opening kill provided by Nico with some aggression outside to open up the secret avenue. Seven to one. Can they build upon it? Due to a seven nothing start, the vitality money is booming. They were trying to set up the run boost there. They wanted to go aggressive against them. They have to build on it, right? It's not even a question. If you're down seven to one, it can't just be the one round, so. They better have a plan. Wow, this is nothing like what I was expecting. A very similar kind of opening half to the one that we had at the last game with Heroic and Phase, where it was at least in the beginning really close. This has just been very one-sided. Well, G2's putting, uh, you know, at least the impact of the round in their star player's hands into Nico's hands to kind of leave him alone outside looking for a kill. Good flashbang. Apex almost able to grab that one. Late smoke wall set up. Apex has no vision, no information. And Nico, oh, gonna walk right through, steps forward, grabs another opening kill for G2. Four on four. Apex, very untraditional position to be all the way back here. Don't see that almost ever. Oh. JKS, he snuck in. Does he realize? Now he does. Sees the full face of him. But Hunter, yeah, you're not gonna be checking this. Apex, good for that one. Nearly could have had the double. He's setting up for it. In fact, they're trying to get into the bomb side, and they will. 30 seconds. Still a three on three. As I say that, though. Monacy goes down, Meg is sneaking through. They know where both the CT players are, and the bomb is going to be planted. Oh, this is JKS's round. He's had so much impact, blinded with one more. Cracked open the upper bomb site, pulled the teammate back, and he's done all the heavy lifting. And Apex, I think, is going to concede with that smoke down in his face. Second round for G2. Opening provided by Nico, but props to JKS for finding all the gaps on the back of it. Yeah, it's a very, very hard round to win. I really thought Apex was going to find one more kill out in the yard there. I think if he'd waited another second, maybe he would have, but yeah, still. Ooh, just sees the legs of someone disappearing. Going to be hearing Hooksy making a run for it. And should be able to take the swing here. Got to be careful. Oh, I'm right at his back, but he's going to be fine. Seven to two, though. G2, they win a second round, but it's with one person surviving. Uh, this, this is great from JKS2, realizing the situation and obviously taking the initiative to make this happen, lurking in. They knew Dupree was in the upper bomb, so two rifles here or there. They've got a few more buys left in them. G2's coming back into this map the hard way. Yeah. Oh, JKS, he's going to try and do it again, see if he can make the opening. He runs past the smoke, but he's already been dinked, and he will eventually go down. Dupree... Able to find it. It's a nice attempt to try and throw him in there to find the opening, but there was no battle for him to have. He was just stuck there. And unfortunately, he got dinked right when that play was actually yeah. being made. We see that, oh, not silent. Hunter's dropped into vent, so that's going to be passed over to Vitality. They know lower is susceptible. Hunter causing a distraction, but Zaiwu is still parked in ramp room. They don't have to attack this if he gets this plant. Modesty opens it up. Hunter's the only one here to get that bomb down. This is actually pretty incredible. Yeah, he just went straight forward with the rest of his team all the way over at the ramp. I've, that's a rare sight. You don't normally see that. Seems risky. How do you check this, though, if you're coming through? This is going to be so hard to read. Nico, not normally a place you'd find a T-side player at all. Dupree, he goes down, but Spinks is going to be there straight on the return, and it's into a two versus two. Apex is almost dead already, and they are starting to shrink away. They don't want to go for this. They realize it's not worth it any longer. 
A third round for G2. Off the back of a smoke play from Hunter. They've planted the bomb inside alone with the rest of the team real far away from him. And this is cool. These aren't like great like set pieces and executes and everything from G2 to just clean win. They're, they're really allowing some of their stars to have some individual impact. We've seen Nico with a couple of isolated opening kills and exploit the gaps from there. Now it's JKS that you try and activate through Squeak Door to find you something, op something to open. But it's Hunter who actually makes it down that causes the distraction. Pulls Zywoo into a peak. So you know someone's gotten down secret and the question is what's the second prong of the attack coming from to join up with that lower presence? Zaiwu was right. He just didn't realize they were going to be parked and waiting for that peak. Yeah. What a time to pull off that boost as well. Okay, well, we might have a little bit of a game in our hands. They're going to try and see if they can make their way through again. JKS making a dive down. Didn't want to try an entry like he did the other round. And he turns around because he wants to make sure that nobody is following him. Smoke going down inside. We're able to pick off Nico. It's one of the threats we outlined earlier. Nico, he's usually a really dominant player in this yard position. But up against the AWP of Saibu, that's a different matter. And remember, G2's won three rounds in a row. I mean, Nico might not take that risk in a different situation, you know, knowing the AWP is going to be on the board. But you win three rounds in a row, and you might think their money is starting to dwindle, and they might not have that resource and that weapon. There are no CT players down below. They could actually walk in and get the bomb plant here, and it would be a tough retake for Vitality, even in a four on five. They just... Don't even, I mean, they might guess that something is going on, but they don't have confirmation yet. They're about to find out when the doors open. Now there's three Molotovs for G2 to use. And if you're G2 as well, I mean, it's not as kind of cut and dry as we can see with nobody down here. If you're G2, you're expecting there to be some kind of resistance, some kind of presence. Yeah. And that's why they're taking this long, deep breath. Finally, Meg is going to go take a look at the ramp. He's going to start to realize, yeah, summoning up the Molotov, but it pushes him forward and they weren't ready for it. That could have been a kill and that could have been as well. Hunter just barely stays alive. Still no bomb plant in spite of the fact that they've had this bomb site open for quite a while. Monacy, slight gap shot to take down Apex and it's right back into a three on three. The bomb is now finally being planted after a minute of waiting. Need going to be going down and that's lucky it's not on Hunter. He would have been dead behind that one. Monacy instead. Need to see him step it up here. Gonna be swapping out, in fact. No, just gonna pick up the AWP again. And time is ticking away on this bomb, slowly but surely. More flashes make their way through Dupree, trying to get the opening, but he'll get a bullet to the face instead. JK has to take him down. Saibu and Sphinx, do they want to risk it here? Like you said, they have a fair bit of bank, so saving some rifles could be important. And yeah, they're gonna decide it isn't worth it. G2 coming right back into this game. <laughs> Four in a row as Modesty no scope spinks out of the round. The but man, they're not giving up easily here. No, this is some wonderful calling from Hooksy and G2 to make this work. This time finding their way into the lower bomb site. And you gotta say, give a shout out to Modesty. Open space with that AWP. Getting all the impact kills to secure the bomb site. And Vitality hasn't even really felt like they could go for too many of these rounds. And at this point, while G2's rattled off four in a row, they're also thinking in the back of their minds, conserve the economy. JKS has had some super impactful rounds. That's a lot of pay faith from Modesty when he gets blind to tuck himself yeah. in towards dark and allow his teammate to cover him and take that fight from doors. This is a brilliant recovery from G2's T side. Yeah, Hooksy's getting loud as well. Everyone is feeling it. From going on a seven round loss streak into picking up a little bit here. But look at the aggression coming out towards the lobby. Vitality, they are tired of waiting around to see what G2 are going to be doing. This is a really sick position for Sphinx to be in. This is a checkmate as well. Like, he can clear lobby pretty much whenever he wants to. Uh, like, uh, he, he's expecting there may be more than just one body, but as soon as he, like, kind of peeks and goes for something and realizes it's just JKS, the game is up. They know where G2 is going. Oh, Zywoo ripped straight off the roof. What a shot from Hunter. But now the rest of these advanced positions come into play, and now G2's heart sinks because they know they don't have lobby control. They know that Vitality has all the information. Yeah, you've been relegated to this tiny part of the map. They should know everything almost behind this. Sphinx going to be moving up aggressively. Nobody sees it coming. Couple of bullets, even shooting their feet right now. Wow, what a beautiful round from Sphinx. He's won it on his own at this point. Three kills and Hunter just alone. Yeah, you could try and do something, but it's not going to make a difference. Eight on the board for Vitality after a long break. On some level, that kind of sucks, too. You get a shot like that on Zywu is the opening kill. Dueling yeah. your heads up against the AWP, and, and you can't build anything off of it. That's You don't get that kind of a gift too many times. And they actually don't have that much money to work with either G2, in spite of that little streak here. 
I mean, that's that's a testament too to, to Vitality just playing it very smart in terms of economy. Through that four round streak, they've never been in danger of losing money and they've done just enough work to keep G2 very low. So yeah, G2 can't really fight in this round. Already out of spawn without investing a whole lot. P250 picked up on JKS and that's it. And armor, I should say. Yeah, a little bit of armor to play with, but. Decoys as well. Still haven't found a, a real home for the decoy yet, have we? Maybe G2's been uh, working on it leading into the major. They're ready? Yeah. Blocking of doors, I believe, is one potential tool if you want. This is the major where decoys have a purpose. The decoy major. Well, it's got a ring to it. It does a little bit. It feels like one of those tools that's either completely useless or if you buff it even a little bit, it becomes, you know, way too good. <laughs> nice. Thoughts, Jason? The decoy wall. It, it works. It's doing something. Vitality's probably like, what the hell is this? Yeah, quite confused. Not for long. They figure it out and handle business. Nine to four. If you throw a smoke wall in the forest, but there's nobody there to see it, did you? Did you really throw a smoke? Did you really throw a smoke wall? Really throw a smoke wall? You throw the decoys, but no one even walks outside. Does it even? Does it even make it? Yeah. <laughs> does it even make a difference? <laughs> <laughs> even if they had been real smoke, Jason, the result would have been the same. I know, probably. Maybe you throw the smokes first, and then the decoys inside the smokes. Ooh, now we're working. Something. Five round lead, two rounds remaining in this first half. Here we go. G2 have done some work, but I don't think it's enough. I don't think four rounds on the T side of Nuke at the current meta is going to make the real difference here. I think they need to get up to that five or six mark before they can start to feel a little bit more safe. Decent grenade. We'll soften them up just a tiny bit. Yeah, one more is good, two more is great if they can close out this half. But again, I mean, just a testament to Vitality. They've done like, such a good job with their money that they're able to be dangerous and have a strong defense each and every round. Good decision making. I mean, it helps when you start out at, what, a seven to nothing lead that you have some rounds to play with and give up and not try and force a retake. The regular wall is back. That's a shame. Yeah, we're getting excited for a moment. Going to be setting it up for Nico to work some magic out here. He's not sure if someone's going to be flashed through, walking through, if they're going to be coming up secret. Again, there's been a lot of looks out there for Vitality, so I don't really blame him for being paranoid about it. Good timing on the Molotov. It's going to put a lot of damage into it. Look at the JKS nearly burning alive. Oh, that's a but Hooksy, yeah, he still finds the opening hunters ready for the flank that was coming in. And it's a four versus three. Oh, they want to fight this. They want to challenge for Ramp Room. Sphinx gets taken down, tagged by a nade, and it's Hooksy to have impact. The opening kill in Ramp Room and a follow-up second frag, and it's all on Zywu. Nico outside alone has opened up a couple rounds for G2. This time he's just been a lurk, a nuisance, and he's gone unneeded because his team has done such a good job. Yeah, they were really they wanted to they wanted to flank and they wanted to they wanted to come in with a double swing from he, from hell to go for that ramp. They were ready for it and they just got absolutely bodied on that side. Five on G2. I think this is super significant right now. They're out hunting for Cyber. They want to see if they could steal away that AWP. It won't matter even if they do get it. There's there's so much money on the Vitality side. Sure, true. But obviously it feels good. Nico should have the advantage and he will. Headshot onto Zaiwu. Fifth round on the board. This is such an important kill. With the Molotov damage that was done as well, as you kind of highlighted on JKS, took like 60 damage, and yeah, Dupree a little bit frustrated. Still in ramp due to the Molotov of his teammate as well. Yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> Why is he even there? We all know that feeling. <laughs> it's, uh, nine to five, Jason. 15th round is rolling in the last of the half here. Either way, Vitality have done a really, really good job. G2, though, they're looking to recover a little bit of hope into the second half that's going to be coming up real soon. Hunter on the run, and it's actually Nico, his cousin on the other side, taking down Apex. And I don't know if I don't know if Apex would have spotted Hunter. This is so fast. There's a minute and 30 seconds on the clock. <laughs> oh, you are so knocked out of your vitality. What an opening. What a cover. And look at the way it's all crumbling. You have no protocols to react to a ladder flank that fast. 
<laughs> it just got absolutely blown up. That's such a ridiculous round. Cyru now with a one versus four. And why not? Why not? You know, try and see if you can clutch it at the end. That would certainly crush G2. He's Sino. down below. They have no idea. It is the Sinal drop. Oh my god. JKS and Monacy on the other side. He's going to tap the bomb once. No kit. So this is going to be even more difficult. It's nearly a two for one shot. Oh my god. He's going to put up the smoke and try and tap it again. He's no clue where Monacy is. He just doesn't know. But now he does. <laughs> he finds the shot. And it is a ridiculous world class clutch coming in from Saiwu. That's a 1v4. Jesus. We were laughing too. If that's not the last round of the half, he, there's no chance in hell he no. goes for that. Yeah, the safe He play. doesn't even think about it. He doesn't even investigate. <laughs> it's so sick. Oh, God. Okay, well then. I hope you've all got a chance to take a deep breath. I'm not sure I'm fully ready, but the second half is coming up. The pistol round here. The unfortunate part, too, is G2 fought so hard to get back in that half. That was 7 to nothing at one point, and G2 did enough to get back in the game. And, I mean, that sixth round would have been absolutely spectacular of a half for them for how it started. And, oh, it just slips away. JKS sticks around a little bit longer than he probably should have. It almost gets caught, but now he only has one option. Stand and fight. He's got the first. Magus with the trade. Nico's here. Nico's arrived. He's got a long line of sight. Apex goes hunting and doesn't find anything that he wants. Zywoo's waiting to peek towards Mini. But the duel is up on top from Monacy. The young Phenom has got another. Yeah, I agree. That was a long time for JKS to hang around. Couldn't he got caught. Man, that, that kind of plan to fall into towards heaven just didn't, didn't connect with anything, did it? No. Nope. Like the pressure towards ramp room to fall in towards an upper split up heaven, that, that just that crumbled. Although I suppose if they had, if they had made their way through, then Saibu's play through Mini would have been so much sicker, right? Because then that Heaven player yes. or any one of the bomb side would have to worry about it. So, I mean, so there's some logic behind it. And we're not really done yet. 25 seconds. Oh, Spinks, if he dies, the round is probably over right then and there. 20 seconds. He's setting up the counter flank. Yeah, you're right, wrong. He definitely is. Monacy, a little bit of an opening there, but still no bomb plant. They haven't really found an opening yet, and they're very low on health now. That bomb needs to be planted right now. Nine seconds and just charging on him. <laughs> Monacy, no mercy no whatsoever. There's no time for it. And Hooksy, he's realized good awareness. If he'd kept fighting, he could have died instead. And that's going to be the round for G2, a desperately needed pistol round. Yeah, and I mean, you can you can give credit some credit over to Hunter. I, that looks a little bit silly when he kind of just swings out first, but he's he's really just setting, setting that up for his teammate. He's saying, I'm going to swing, I'm going to take a fight, I might die, but it's going to set you up perfectly to come down vents and have the follow-up flank for Monacy. Stressful and all-important pistol round for G2. Six to ten. Well, is this the beginning of the comeback? They, I mean, the fact that they was, like you said, 7-0, and it could have almost been 9-6 to at the end of it if it wasn't for Saibu stepping in to stop whatever they were doing. Yeah. So, in truth, G2 have kind of already... They've shown us that they're definitely here to play, right? I mean, they, they survived some some really a uh, really tough first half. The one before from Zaiwu, obviously, to close things out. But remember, the first gun round was pretty. Ooh, JKS under pressure again. Not getting the information, not getting the spot, so he's going to get swarmed. It's just a question of how many he can take with him. It's only one. Put some pressure on Monacy to hold the line as much as possible, but we're going to back away from the fight now. Lobby is starting to be encroached upon by G2's defense, and they have control. But also, you think back to the first gun round in the first half of right. Vitality with that kind of evacuate ramp room, leave one player in the upper bomb site, two in secret, two outside. They shut down all the early plans of G2, so it was quite a difficult fight to get back into this and make it competitive. Speaking of competitive, it's a two on three, but a Deagle and a FAMAS. Deagle and Dupree. Nico and Hunter are going to be here together, though, and they will not take this without each other. Oh, door opening. That's going to distract a little bit. That's probably part of the plan here. But you're right. They're going to group up and good swing there, good spacing. Would have been nearly impossible to get both those kills at the same time. Well done, G2. They survived the round with three people alive. And they're going to be up to a 7-10 scoreline. It's a couple minor mistimings, though, for JKS over in ramp room. Yeah. First two rounds of this half. So we'll have to keep our eye on that one. I don't know if you've noticed, but lately more and more people are holding uh, that second box in the in the ramp room, and they're actually allowing the T's to walk almost all the way in before they just take a shot and then they fall back down. It looks unbelievably risky, but it feels like that timing actually works out really well. Seen that a lot more in the last month or so. Three and rounds. 
something that we didn't see out of Vitality was really the boost in ramp, but I'm sure G2 eventually, I mean, that's also if for one out of the 15 rounds, you, tr you just try and go for it every once in a while, don't you? Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Three FAMAS on board for the defense in this round. JKS, Hooksy, and Nico. Odyssey is hit in the face by a smoke, gonna throw it off. What a gap it's created. Flashbang them. Monacy <laughs> sprays down three of them and just creating a line of corpses out in the yard. Magus can spinks two versus four here. Even, I mean, even to get a triple spray down, even if you block that smoke, is actually pretty incredible for Monacy. What a yeah. great stop. An individual Herculean effort. And now he, Hooksy and Nico going to go hunting towards Secret. It's Magus they'll have to attack into, holding for this kind of a push. Will he expect a second? He's thinking about it. Magus creeping on forward. Nico's right there, and he actually checks it. That's such a rare angle for somebody holding that third generator, but he works out just fine. 40 seconds, two versus two. And that splits up Hunter and JKS, because now they realize the lower bomb site's in trouble with Secret being controlled by Vitality, and they haven't seen Sphinx yet. They don't know where he is. This is a very nerve-wracking, high-pressure round for G2, as they've lost all information on the map. They've lost all presence towards the lower bomb site. They're starting to get there. And JKS is now just showing up at the ramp. Yeah, diffuse kit there, and there's one down below. They don't have anyone, and anyone's still alive here. Smoke is up. JKS trusting that no one's coming through, but actually they did. He's going to be getting the kill on Magus now. Quick on the Sphinx, and eight seconds left. One versus one. Hunter's walking in right behind him, and the smoke is fading. Sphinx has got the perfect read. He trusts himself to get that second kill. Magus with the triple Sphinx with the double. And Vitality picking up a round here at the second half. That's a 2v4 victory, all thanks to Magus over in secret. Grabs Hooksy and is prepared for Nico at the off angle. That's a 1v4 and a 2v4 you've now lost in, what, the past four rounds of play? Yeah. That's heartbreaking. That's a tough pill to swallow and a tough one to recover from. Shouldn't be happening. Yeah! Let's go! Yeah! Come on! yeah, they can feel yeah! it as well. Look at the buy that's coming out from G2 in this round, though. This is super sketchy. The, remember when FaZe forced on, in, on Inferno? Yeah. Not to say that it is exactly the same, but I mean, it could have a, a devastating result here for G2 if they that's don't win this one. A similar effect where it just takes too long to get money, flush, or the CT side flush with cash. Yeah. Well, they have a decent setup for what it looks like it's coming at the moment. A number of bodies over in the door. CZ and an SMG defending against it. First one's down. Hooksy gets nothing done. And the Boom. defense has to back away. You have Dave. to save these weapons. The AWP and the FAMAS. No question about it. I mean, some damage. One of those kills instead goes the way of G2. Could have been playing out differently, but it did not. It's more about having the kills that buy time for your real power to get into yeah, the game, right? To get, to get Monacy over there, but he doesn't even have armor, so he's got to be ultra careful and cautious in this round. And because they get to save it, I mean, they can have a, a similar amount of, of danger, a similar amount of power and strength into the next round. Nice. Easy hunt for Nico. Yeah, but the only real valuable weapon here is the AWP. Still, 12 to 7 going to be the scoreline here, Vitality. Not slow to take it off on, this, on the second half, right? They let go of a couple of rounds and then boom, they're right back into it again. They look so focused at the moment. Oh, to think that previous round, the 2v4 that Vitality wins, yeah. starts out with a triple kill from Monacy as well. <laughs> In a way, you could call it a two on five. Yeah, you could. But then the question just becomes, is that just completely knocked G2 off kilter? More than I think most people will probably ever realize. Man, they need a miracle round with this AWP. Vitality are just looking like they're well on their way to a victory here. Monacy's going to have to hunt a little bit, and that presence out towards Secret from Apex makes him a little bit nervous. I think he wanted to swing a little bit wider to have an angle deep through the door. And I think because Vitality saw in the last round a buy, and they know two players saved, they might be thinking, they might be aware of the possibility that a strong weapon's going to be on the board, and now they have it confirmed. Monacy with the opening kill. They're going to boost him up, aren't they? Just try and reposition again. This is to try and disguise the information of where that AWP is, because they know Vitality is going to be trying to react to it. So you want to keep them guessing. 
pistols for the rest of it here. A little bit of a crossfire, but there's a USP on the other side. I mean, even you have a right setup for it. It just doesn't really make a difference. Also, Monacy oh, goes down in the meantime with the AWP. Nico and Hunter, two versus three. What incredible awareness from Zaiwu as well, getting pressured from JKS on ramp room, but just parking himself behind the box, aiming for the follow-up peak, and it's the AWP. That's the real weapon that could have turned the tides in this round. Yeah. And again, it was disguised, right? Like, they couldn't hear him getting boosted up there. So just really well done. Nico? Okay. Still winnable. Two on two. Okay, missed nade due to the engagement from Hunter, but I think they're going to press the issue. Yeah, he's going to walk right into it. Now you kind of know where Nico is, but AK in hand, no armor. This has got to be picture perfect for Nico. Yeah, if anyone could. Under the best game yet, but mechanically, you know he's got the power to do it. Dupree swings out, and the aim punch will just completely offset any chance Nico had to do that. It had to be flawless. Saiwu with a quad kill. He is racking them up once again. 13 to 7. It's a six round lead, and Saiwu's clocking in at 24 kills. Yeah, a high impact quad kill as well. And you think he got all three kills to bust up that three man stack over in ramp room? Yeah. If that second player in ramp room, I, I think it was Hooksy with the USP with JKS causing the, the distraction. Yeah. If that's anything but a USP, they kill Zaiwu. Yeah, that's they a different get it. Round. Here we go. Due to the early buy and the saved off, they can't have the AWP in this round. Monacy doesn't have the money, so Nico's going to step up and get aggressive, try and put a stop to any kind of outside play. He's at least made him nervous, at least made him think about the situation. I like this for Monacy, though, pushing in front of the smoke, trying to help out Nico. He had to do something, otherwise Nico was going to be alone out here. And look at the stopping power behind them. Two kills for Nico, one for Monacy. Spinks and Meg is left, and now just save what you can here on the G2 side. Try and make sure you don't lose too many rifles. And maybe there is a way back into this game. I think you're just thinking at this point, just close it out. You've lost rounds like this before. A 1v4, a 2v4. Don't let another one slip away. This would be the dagger. Listen, at least Simon was not alive. Anymore. True. But Megas and Spinks won the 2v4. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> that is a little bit of an issue. Yeah, they're hoping for a mistake, but I mean, it would be really uncharacteristic for G2 to start giving them too much here. So it could just be a plain 40 second wait. Good time to remind everybody that there is a B stream happening where Bad News Eagles are playing Ents in a best of one. Hugo and Harry are covering that one right on the other side of the wall, Jason. Yeah, right on the other side. Plenty more action coming up later today, so I hope you guys are parked and comfortable and have all the snacks in the world you might need. We got oh. eight more best of ones coming up in the second half of the day. Your favorite snack, Jason? Uh, frozen grapes. Frozen grapes. That's what I'm going to pick in this very moment. Okay. Yeah. Trying to lie to the audience and pretend it's something healthy. I appreciate that. <laughs> I won't call you out for it. Um, you did get to the point where you're like, oh, I've had 100 grapes. <laughs> They've probably stopped being healthy 50 grapes ago. <laughs> yeah, too much of anything. Um, G2, they pick up another round. I don't know. I mean, does it feel? I feel like this is still a really winnable game for G2. I'm not. I'm not sold on this victory for Vitality yet. No, that's what's so painful about these rounds that have like gone with like the one v four and the two v four, and especially in this half, the, the two v or the four on two, I should say, from G2's perspective, is like the, they obviously have set some of these rounds up so well. Right. They got themselves great advantages, and here again, you see kind of the, a really strong, aggressive defense outside that sets them up for a nice, easy win. It's the clutches, it's the late rounds, it's the mistakes at the end of the rounds that are hurting them. And if they can clean those up, yeah, this, this score line, this can close quickly. Oh, they're almost lined up. They gotta be so careful, so careful. Monacy at the single box. He got a triple kill here earlier, and this time Dupree's ready. Yeah, well played. That clears out the yard. Meg is going to pick up the bomb way back in T-spawn. Sphinx heard this drop in towards vents, or he at least heard the drop onto the floor. Yeah, that could be some good information to play with. It's actually maybe what motivating him to go for this. He just sneaks on out, and he should have had that kill on Hooksy. That was actually really well played, but Hooksy finding his sixth kill. It's been a tough game for him individually, and a three-on-three that G2 have to win. They don't have the money to lose this round. I like the risk from Spinks, though. I like the realization. He heard one rotate. He's like, okay, 1v1 in the upper bomb site. I'll take that all day. Yeah, I like it, too. I mean, it, it makes sense. Hunter is down here. He just, oh. he just can't get killed immediately. You said that, Jason. 
But um, you know what happens when you say those words. Cyber stepping out into it. He's thinking about it. Oh, good spray. Good damage. They're going to be real careful. And Dupree, he's down and out of the round. 30 seconds. The gun barrel showing. Hunter knows everything. He did enough already. Two versus one. Magisk, the only one that could kill the dreams of G2 here. And he's absolutely ready for it. Out to take the battle. Not sure what the second player is, but he had the right read. He definitely knows. Could be walking up with a grenade in hand. That could have been an absolute nightmare. But JKS ready to take him down. Good timing on that one. And G2, they will just barely win that round. What a job from Hunter on that secret cross. I, I, I'm not thinking he's going to get the spot and he'll stay alive, but he keeps going back for more and more fights, even when he has the disadvantage. Even when Zaiwu was able to see just the top of his helmet but not land the shot. Good sequence from Hunter. to pre-open this round, but they just couldn't quite close it. Yeah, this is definitely a deciding difference here. Down below again. Four round gap right here. And with the bomb plant, Vitality are still able to buy again for any new viewers. It's an $800 bonus if you plant the bomb on the T side, even if you lose the round. Obviously, most people recognize that, but it's a major. There are always new viewers coming in. Plenty of utility now for G2. Money's not pretty behind this buy for both teams, obviously, as you just highlighted. Yeah, <laughs> looking real grim. Th this is quite a swing round. If G2 want to keep this comeback going, th this is a must-win round. Monacy is the only one with extra cash built up behind them, 2,800. They've got a heavy lean towards the upper bomb site for the moment, and it looks like Vitality had a spawn call for that upper hit. Two players on roof to chuck in utility. Someone's getting blind from this G2 defense. Ooh, hold on. Nico's down the ladder. Now is a good time to go for it, although starting off with Monacy on that AWP, that's a grim beginning, and now they're just getting absolutely cross-fired out of the round. Nico's back up out of the ladder, and Apex and Magus left. Yeah, you need you need that first fight to go your way. The stopping power on the AWP is way too much. A flawless round. They absolutely desperately needed it, and now they can really get back into this game. Yeah, the op shot from Monacy to really take the tip, uh, tip of that attack away. This one right here, just as they turn the corner, no flashbangs streaming in quite yet. When Dupree turns that corner, just the Molotovs, and then obviously Hunter dodging every like all. Oh, excuse me, Hooksy dodging about three or four flashbangs on top of those silos, gives him that deep, deep angle that makes it really uncomfortable for Vitality. Lead is cut to three. Oh, this is getting real interesting. Monacy and Nico both at 16 kills. JKS and Hunter are not that far behind at 12 and 13. Yeah, Hooksy's a bit further behind, but they have the firepower in the lineup. They don't even necessarily need him to step it up to that level, so curious how this will play out. Saru's stuck at 24 for the minute, which is still very impressive. And they bought an AK to throw onto him. Just looking for economic damage. Yeah. Just looking to turn money into a win condition that they can lean on. But looks like looks like JKS is going to get tested. We highlighted earlier in this half, he had a couple of missed timings where they were able to creep up pretty close on him before he realized what was coming. Let's see if it happens again here. He can't get away. He's stuck in a fight. I was going to say, economic damage is one thing, but when it's Saibu that's wielding the AK, you never really know. Anything can happen. Monacy, yeah, I wouldn't want to re-challenge that either. Why walk into the AK shot? They're going to be down below, and they should at least be able to get the bomb plant. Yeah, no, one, no one's here. Oh, my lord. Dupree chimes in with a deagle. That's on to Nico, and he was going to be the next shift over. Monacy needs to find this, but Dupree can slow play it. He can actually burn so much time. They can't stop this plant. No, they can't. On the other side of the silo. Oh, this is getting really awkward. Hyrule wants to step up into it. I think he got tagged by the nade, and that might have offset him just a little bit. Magisk alone, one versus three. This should be a very hard round to win this one, but he does have armor. But they don't know where he is just yet. Trying to see if he can relocate himself. This might be a really good move. He's got to be careful about his back as well. There is one more player back there underneath him. He swings wide, but just can't find the shot. Hooksy will take him down instead. And that round got way closer than it should have been. Yeah, that second AK-47 recovered as well. Made it really nerve-wracking. Hooksy's going to get the defuse, 11 to 13, but I, I mean, look, mission accomplished for Vitality. Three kills off the back of this, this one AK-47 they invested in, a bomb plant on top of everything. They love that. You've taken economy away from... <laughs> Might be a little late for that. They've woken up. 
Zaiwu outside with the alt. Monacy on the defensive side of things. Ooh. Tags Apex through the box. Sees nothing. Unconfirmed damage for Monacy. And Zaiwu with the cover of the smoke wall is going to step up. Hold cover for the rest of his team. At least for Magus as he crosses over with the bomb. Yeah, but this is some good map control now. Just getting this deep in early on. And as a result, they're going to wait around. They're going to say, you know what? I bet someone is going to get curious. Somebody from the CT side will want to know. And if they take a step too far, they might get shut down. You can see Nico worry that someone's already down there. And he's not wrong. They are getting kind of close. It's a little bit risky as well. Zaru's got the bomb already crossed over, so he could be very split off. Long time to be waiting and not getting anything for it. Dupree going to be the first victim. Monacy outside. They're looking for that kind of reaction, right? They're partly yeah. waiting for the reaction to like having secret control and so much silence on the map. Hunter delivered in this position earlier. It's Nico's turn. Oh, but Magisk just rips his head off. No one else is down low. Yeah, 30 seconds. The bomb is still not there. They're really, really slowed down. And they're not really sure they could switch this into something else. Look at Apex. He snuck onto the bomb side. He's trying to check everything. Hunter's going to find him instead. And now they're probably confirmed for it. They're going to go for the B-bomb side anyway. 19 seconds. Cyber with the one kill in return. Bomb is on the ground at the moment. There we go. Cyber's going to pick it up and try and see if he can get the bomb plant. One versus three. He's already stolen the round before. This one's probably even more impossible. He's boxed in right now. And he will get hunted down. They were coming at three angles at once. Hooksy the one to pick up the kill. And that is going to be a 12 to 13 scoreline. G2 making it back. Huge kills from Hooksy in that double kill, right? Yeah. He gets the kill over in the squeak door, the lurk as well. Apex is really investigating in that upper bomb site, and it could have set that lurk up in squeak door as a really, really effective cut of the flank. Oh, man. That's a sick shot for me, though. Yeah. That looked like it was going to be the turning point. And it's just the power of Zyru where you feel in that situation, he's got a real chance at it. He's got a real opportunity in the 1v3, but another clutch for G2. Another bomb defuse. Another round on the board. They've cut the lead to just one. It's Vitality's T side that has started to fall flat. Yeah, it has. I mean, it, it's almost unfair to say that because they, they are getting close in these rounds, right? But they're not winning them. Upper set piece again. Hooksy, Hunter, and Nico, and Mini to defend. JKS over in ramp room. Monacy will be outside. They'll be slow to respond to this. The opening kill is everything right now. Vitality have to get the first crack into the bomb site, or they're going to get shut down. A little bit of a labored spree. It's a good return. Sphinx is there for the one. But again, this is very slowed down. Do you want to recommit to this one? Lucky the bomb doesn't fall forward into the bomb site. That could have just as well happened. And Nico, <laughs> that is so aggressive. It's a classic move from Nico. Once he's feeling the game, we haven't even seen that yet. He knows it's the most unexpected play, right? Yeah. And he's got low HP. What a great advantage to take. I love Hunter's game in this round as well. Monacy's shifted in now. The bomb drops down the vents. Hunter falls, but Nico's got it. You can see Hunter's responsibility is over towards Squeak Door during that, during that hit and also supporting the boost up player. Yeah. But when Nico's his only teammate that's left, when, when, when Hooksy's gone down, instead of watching Squeak Door, like Hunter takes the risks and realizes Nico has to fall back to the lead. They calmed up this huge lead. They had the unbelievable of a world-class clutch coming out from side with one versus four to end the half with. It was all right there for the taking, and now G2 are back in the mix. Six in a row for them. They've been hard rounds to win, but they are still building an economy. This has been a high-stress ga game for G2. These upper hits have not worked when Vitality's tried to bring them out in the past. They're going to knock on the door one more time. This is like smashing their head against a brick wall. This time, they delay things. They let the counter utility burn and come in a little bit late. Hunter's turned. They're already in the bomb site. Hunter's exposed. Oh, he's taking a risk, and he's out of ammunition. Monacy's here, trying to hold this together. And it's a three-on-three. -three. Important a couple of kills there. Hunter, at least with the one, that does make a difference. Apex is on a flank, though. He's on a mission. Tech 9 to find him on a C. If he does, that would be it. He finds a ro no rifle there. Just a knife out for Nico, but Monacy's going to be pretty quick, quick in the return, at the very least. And JKS, he's down. Yeah, he's holding the escape route. He knows when you get into an upper bomb site, you don't feel comfortable and you need to alleviate some of that pressure. Oftentimes, you'll just drop down vents, call the audible, and try and get into the lower bomb site as quick as you can, but Vitality's not falling for it. They would love to win this round. Losing six in a row.
But this is slowed down. Like you said, they don't feel comfortable. They don't really want to be doing this. Bomber's going to be planted finally. It is being held. Sphinx is right there. JKS just comes flying out. Explosive play, but it will not work. And Megas gone the other side. Finds the headshot onto Monacy. 14 to th 13. Vitality. Finally back in action. In this time, it's the little change of timing. It's Vitality throwing the upper execute utility and then waiting and pop. They've spent almost all of their money in this round. So they, they could end up losing 16-13 if they lose this round. They just won't have the funds to really fight back easily. And look at the speed behind this flash as well. Apex, this is the right move. He jumps down, but Nico is ready. He turns around. A second earlier, and he probably still would have been blind behind that one. Ooh. Shot for the smoke, though. Spinks will find him clean. Had no idea what he was shooting at, but just the timing was perfect. Four versus four, and a little bit of an aggressive move. Yeah, both teams throwing a mix in right here towards the end of the game. We haven't seen Apex or anyone from Vitality go for that kind of a mini drop. This time, G2 aggressively sets up JKS and ramp. He can have a fast flank towards the upper bomb site if they need it. If the hit comes in, if they try and go ramp room, they might not clear that position. Yeah, Hunter Mon in the upper bomb site. Hooksy looking outside. He's setting up Monacy for a deep angle with the op. Hooksy likely to come up heaven and support Hunter. Monacy could have stuck around with him, but he didn't. He decided to go back inside, and that might be for the best. If they got on vent, G2's in trouble. Yeah, that's true. They're thinking about it, but no, they're going to go for it instead. Three of them coming out, squeak door. Hunter's calling it in, saying, I need some backup right now, but he's not going to get there in time. Nobody on the high ground to help him. And he dies for absolutely nothing. Four versus three. Bomb planted. JKS, he's on a quick flank. Hoopsie trying to get the jump down. This is going to be on JKS to try and hold on to it, and he can't even get the entry. Magus is just tearing them apart. And Monacy. We've already seen one clutch, but this is too much. They know that he's up here somewhere. And now they definitely do the scope, giving it away. It's going to be 15-13, with this AWP being the only tool that they're really going to have to find within the next round. Vitality, they found their way onto map point here. They've really, really been attacking into this upper bomb site. This is a game plan they've come in with a number of times, and it took a long time for it to really kick into action, but now that it has, they're cracking it open. I think that round, more than anything, just felt like Hunter alone in the bomb site. Hooksy and Monacy are kind of the players moving around the map, but neither of them were really committed. Both of them stuck up in heaven, so no one could provide support. And what a way to find an opening kill of your vitality. Threw the smoke off of his initial kill onto Apex. It's very, very oh, clean, that second kill. There's no timeouts for G2 as well. Remember, they used yeah. their fourth one leading into this round, so here they are. Here's the buy that they're working with. Off in the hands of Monacy. No utility, just a kit. The only kit they have. 5-7 and Deagle on Hooksy and Nico. M4 on Hunter. What a oh. special game. Here we go, Jason. They're not going to slow it down. Exploding out of that squeak door. Saiwoo on the opening. Monacy, this is the rifle. That's going to save them if ever. Apex and Dupree both go down, but they're instantly down the vent. They're trying to back on out. Monacy, he won't let them escape. Magus gets blown up as well. Three kills for the young sniper. And now it's on Saiwoo and Spinks here. They're going to get the bomb plant. Another four on two. And Monacy's got the only kit. Keep your eye on where he falls. Yeah. That's essential. They are going to need that piece of utility. Saibu just a shoulder, but he will take all of Hooksy down. Closes up the door again. And the pressure is on. They made their way far, so far back. He did, and I can understand it. I mean, Simple just had to get four kills in order to put the first round on the board for Na'Vi. So if they didn't step out and take that fight, the round was done.